Two rival universities, one world war. What happens when their secret radar projects collide? This is the story of unexpected collaboration that changed the course of history. This one comes from World War II and radar. What's what's the story here? Yeah, so during World War II, the Germans had a an exceptional radar system that the British couldn't jam and they couldn't build a better system uh, compared to them. So what they did was they contracted MIT's Rad Lab, the radiation laboratory, to develop a better to, to develop a better radar system uh, that's com comparable to what the Germans had. And so the engineers that engineers and scientists at the Rad Lab are developing the radar system and they're chest they're testing it on the the river beside uh, MIT's campus, which I think I'm drawing a blank whether it's Charles or it's the Chesapeake. I'm drawing a blank on that. But the important part is they're as they're testing the radar system, they're noticing some weird discrepancies in it where like the radar's not performing as well as they thought it should. Like it's their calculations are right, but the radar is just not doing its job. Right. They're scratching and, their heads. <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah. And they're debugging the radar. It's like there's nothing wrong with it. And then they look further downstream and they find out Harvard is developing radar jamming technology for the same project. Oh, <laughs> it's no. Like, it's like, oh, that's why. And so then they go down. Harvard and MIT had this little friendly rivalry of like, all right, MIT is going to develop the radar system. Harvard will develop the jamming system. We'll see what happens. And over and they'll make that combined effort to improve the radar system, which um, some people argue was the reason the Allies won World War II was because they're exceptional radar system that outclassed the Germans. But it just wow. all happened because it was someone was testing radar here and they were getting jammed by someone else down the river. And they're like, instead of turning it, the one one lessons I like uh, about that story is they didn't turn into a competition to shut down the other person. They're like, we, we're working towards the same goal here. We can work together yeah. and create a better system than any one of us could do on our own. Yeah. And they did it. But it what are the odds that, you know, just down the same river or along the same point in time, working on two uh, opposite projects yeah. that that if you put together is like, man, we can really figure out something cool here. Um, just an incredible story there. It's, I love it. Yeah, it's, it's it's such a great story on that one. Um, and then, yeah, Radar on its own has its own crazy history of being created. So is there a lesson there for like uh, in business? Hey, I'm developing this um, company, this product, whatever. M don't look to collaborate necessarily with your competition or partner with them. Who's doing something complementary mm -hmm. or opposite even where we can either partner or collaborate or learn from each other? Um, is that an obvious takeaway here? It, it is. It's a, kind of like a it's similar to like a barter system where like, Hey, we're doing, we're really good at this. Uh, we're, we're really good at a, and you're really good at B. If we work together, we can make a, a really good product or it could, it could be as a partnership or you could complement each other. I know definitely in my experience with online businesses on uh, LinkedIn, like a lot of people are more collaborative where, Hey, I know she really good at copywriting for um, email marketing. Well, I'm really good at, digital product launches. Um, I noticed you're launching a digital product, so maybe I can help you with that while you help me with your copywriting. Or they work together to make one product. That's right, really good right. when someone writes the I'll write the copy, copy for, for the product that you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I'll do the launch. So it's like, it's seeing your competitors, not as competition, but as potential collaborators and teachers and, and not immediately rushing to shut things down and making sure yeah. that you're the only one there. Um, yeah. And seeing... Uh, I guess the bigger picture of it um, rather than like, Oh, I need to win this contract for, yeah from the UK to earn money. Right. But they saw the overall girl is like, no, this is to win world war two. Yeah. In time. And in, in the case of the radar example, they ended up coming up with something even better and bigger than they originally imagined yes. in their own camps. So same thing might happen in the business world. If you're an entrepreneur, Hey, I'm, if you use your copywriting example and product mm -hmm. launch, hey, this is a natural fit. Let's put this together. Well, you never know what kind of uh, unintended thing you might come up with uh, that's even better than what you originally intended um, right. just by combining like synapses fire when you get different ideas, different perspectives, different ways of looking at something together. 
you end up with yes and right mm -hmm. yes we could do what we originally thought and boy we can do even more and that then that's exactly what happened in the radar example right yeah when you start mixing different uh people together who are even in the same field or that gets crazy when you start mixing people who are different fields <laughs> you yeah. really start seeing a lot of uh ideas come about and crazy accidents that lead to yeah. pretty influential discoveries it kind of reminds me of the story of like apple and xerox but it's a bit on learning from someone else to combine that into your system on that yeah so. yeah yeah so many takeaways from from that story as well i love it and i just love the whole what if you know it's the timing all had to just line up perfectly for that one 